Hello everyone, Fru here. Welcome to today's video on Talon. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at custom routines within Talon environment. So if you've worked with Talon before, you're familiar that Talon generates code. It does ETL. And the power of that is you can always extend the capabilities of Talon by implementing your own custom routines to do functions or to implement functions that might be unique to your organization. So as an example, we're going to start from the repository on my left side here. And if you go below down, uh, you're going to find the code area and below in the code area, you see routines. So there is a system routines, which you see a lot of routines implemented for the system. And in addition to that, you can implement your own uh, custom routines. And this is all Java based. So in this exercise, we're going to implement a routine that uh, takes the first name and the last name, concatenate the two and, and put it as an output. So just to give you an idea before we start writing the routine, I'm going to go back into my job. I'm going to create a new job here. I will give it a name. Custom routine demo. All right. So now we have a blank canvas in which to work with. So the first thing that we're going to do is the data set that we have is coming from a file. So this is a file. I've created a connection already to this file. I'm assuming that we all can do that. And I can bring that file to the screen. And that's my input. So I'm going to log it to the screen uh, as an output with the T log row component. And let's connect both together. And for the output, I'm going to select my log row and I'm going to make sure it prints as a table just so we can see the headers. And if I run this job, it reads the file and it prints it to the screen. Very straightforward, very straightforward. All right. So first name, we can see first name or we can see last name. Now, the business requirement is let's take the first name, let's concatenate or let's join that to the last name and, and come up with a new string called full name. All right. So let's call that a uh, full name. And it doesn't have to be this trivia. It could be a very complex business logic where you're taking some account ID, you're checking against some APIs, you're doing some validation, you're checking for some unique standard that's just very unique to your organization. And you want to build all of that into a custom function or a custom routine that every developer can implement. So you can really, really, really get creative with this right for your business needs so in this example we'll keep it simple we understand we have the data now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the routine area and create a routine that will take uh, two inputs first name last name and give us an output string so let's go ahead and create a new routine so let's call full name let me do fn uh, standing for full name uh, demo all right so FN demo, full name demo. So once we do that, it opens up this canvas, this uh, IDE area. And this is where we can implement uh, the code. This is where we can implement our code for our routine. And it gives us a template, a stop already, and we can just fill in the details. So let me, I can actually zoom in, but uh, uh, hopefully it is visible on the screen. So uh, we have uh, one class, which is an example. It takes a string and it just, you know, puts a message on the screen. All right, so let's implement a new function or a new method, right? So we're going to call that uh, public and then let's give it a name. Well, we're going to have to return a string. So let's do a string and then to full name. So let's do that, let's say to full name, right? Because it's going to take some values and we're going to do to full name. And what do we want from that? We want a string and that string will give us first name and we want another string. And that string will give us last name and now the method is done all right so we've defined a new function here as a matter of fact we can make this a static function if you really want to so it's, uh, we can change that uh, and we're taking two strings and we're going to return that i'm going to keep this really simple guys nothing really complicated here i could throw exceptions and really make sure the code is solid but for the sake of this, I'm just going to really keep it simple to the basic, not the best code, but very simple to the basic. So full name, we want to take full name to be first name, right? Which is coming from our arguments. And we want to concatenate that to our last name, which is also coming from our arguments. I should. As a matter of fact, I should put this underscore there just so it's consistent. So it's consistent with what we have there. 
all right so we're taking this full name and we're sending it here we're taking the last name we're sending it there we're concatenating that into a string you can choose to use a string builder or some other string manipulator that you want and at the end we need to return our variable since this method has a return argument and we're returning full name simple basic uh java function java 101 we should be able to do this all right so at any point within our data flow we can call this function passing two arguments and return the result all right so let's save this and uh, we save that yes so interestingly i did it already just right before this making this video and i uh, did very similar function to that and i call it generate full name so we're gonna be leveraging this so if we go back into our routine into our uh, into our uh, di job in talent and i have this example here so let me close this Let's close the routine. We're done with our routine. And we should start taking advantage of that routine within the job. So let's just close everything on the screen. Make sure the canvas is clean. Let's close this as well. Just to make sure we have a clean canvas. All right, good. So now that that's what we did before. So here I've just created a new job. It's blank. And before I start working on this job, I want to make sure I close it first and I'll right click on it. The first thing you want to do to make your routines available within any job you're going to be working with is to set up routine dependencies. So if you set up routine dependencies, you can see there are system routines and there are user defined routines. So in this case, I'm going to be working with the system with the user defined routines because I created a routine or if somebody in your organization created it, that's what you want to be using. So let's go ahead, click the green button. I already have full name, which is the first routine that I, I, I reference, or we can use the FN demo uh, and make any routine you want available in here. You, you can select that routine to be available. All right. Now you want to be careful with this because if you can be importing routines, if you're not going to be using those routines within your flow, because that's just going to make your, your job bulky for nothing. So just be careful about how many routines you import and making sure that you're importing routines that you actually use. So let's do okay on that. Now that routine is available within my job. So the first thing that we want to do is go back and do the same thing that we did before, which is to bring in the client information. Now, instead of just logging that to a screen, we're going to pass it through a T-map, right? So we're going to pass it through a T-map. And what the T-map would do is it would help us uh, call the routine that we just implemented. So I'll create an output there. I'll select all my output uh, attributes and I'll bring it here. Now, what is missing here is a full name. And this is what we want to call the routine to pass in the two inputs that we have here so we can get the full name as an output. Now, I know some of you might be saying, but through, uh, I can do all of that in an expression. If I just created a new expression here and I use the expression builder within talent, I can get that done, right? And I agree with you. We can get it done within an expression. That's an option. But the whole goal for this is just to show the routine. So it doesn't mean that you have to do it in a routine. Right, you can pick and choose depending on what your need is, uh, whether you're putting the logic in the routine or you're putting that in an expression. What we have to understand is if we're using an expression here, for those of you that are familiar with it, we can right click here and we can use the expression builder here and put a logic here in the expression to take this value and this value and concatenate both. But now you're embedding logic within this particular flow. Right. What if it's a particular logic that you want the entire organization or everybody to share that same logic? And if you had to make a change to that logic once, everybody else should see it. So that's where your routines could start really coming into play. So now that we've uh, understood that, let's uh, go ahead and delete this. So what I'll do here instead is I'm going to create a new output variable and I'll call it derived full name. If I can get the name correctly there, that would be a good idea. So let's do derived full name. So now that we have a derived full name, the first thing that we want to do is we can now click an expression here uh, and the expression builder comes up. Now, instead of just using the native expressions within uh, Studio, now we take advantage of the expression builder. And if we go down to, to uh, user defined routines, the routines that we define now are available for us here to use. So the one that we want to take advantage of is the generate full name. And that's one of the routines that we imported. So I'll double click on that. And from here, we can pass in the two arguments. The first one being row one. And just bear with me while I type the full name. The, sorry, the first name. 
and then since we had two arguments in that method we have row two dot last name so what we're doing here guys is very straightforward we're calling a function within this routine that we've imported and we're passing it the first name and the last name all right so we do okay now we have this attribute coming out here full name you can always change this instead of the arrow we can change this to full name and as a matter of fact i'm gonna move it a little bit up so we have it just right below first name last name full name so it takes first name concatenates that and gives us a full first name and last names and gives us a full name we'll do okay and we can log that to the screen and see the results right this could be going to a database this could be going for the downstream for processing it really depends on what you're trying to achieve so let's run this all right as a matter of fact let me run it one more time selecting this as a table i like to print out tables so we can see so if you take a look at this now we have our first name last name and now we have a new field called full name which is first name plus last name gives us Tucker Brian. All right, guys, Don Roy gives us Don Roy. So I hope this helps. This gives you an idea of leveraging uh, talent and the routines to create custom functions that you can uh, embed logic within to manipulate data uh, within your flow. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Leave some comments below. If you have any questions around talent or any specific questions, you can leave them in the comment below and I'll try to answer them. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.